Have you been told that you're anemic, but also suffer from a lot of autoimmune and inflammatory disorders? I've got something you might want to hear. My name is Bowie. I have had type 1 diabetes for 21 years and I'm looking for a cure. And along the way, I am finding a lot of connections between inflammation and a lot of different conditions. I have talked ad nauseum about the connection between iron metabolism and diabetes, specifically iron overload. And most people's response is, well, I'm almost anemic or my iron levels are normal. I've even had my doctor tell me to take iron pills before. So if I'm anemic, that means I'm low in iron. How could I possibly have iron overload? But did you know that inflammation can actually cause anemia? So I'm reading a paper on specific compounds and how they relate to inflammation resulting from iron overload. But check this out. So during infections and inflammation, anemia is frequently observed and caused by pro-inflammatory cytokine. A cytokine is just some sort of cell messenger that affects another cell. But it continues, some of them directly affect iron homeostasis, like interleukin 1 beta, TNF alpha, and interleukin 6. The release of these cytokines, mainly interleukin 6, which is that IL-6, results in the upregulation of the iron regulatory hormone hepcidin, abbreviated HAMP. If you followed me before and seen one of my videos, hepcidin is in beta cells. But here's the kicker. So systemic hepcidin blocks cellular iron export. So export means iron getting out of the cell itself and getting into circulation through ferroportin. That's the protein that gets iron into the blood out of the cell, resulting in reduced intestinal absorption, iron absorption, increased iron retention in liver cells, that's what hepatocytes are, and macrophages, which are what are responsible for getting rid of iron and ultimately anemia of infection inflammation. So the inflammation that you are experiencing from being iron overloaded is altering the expression of proteins that let iron get into the blood. You're being diagnosed as anemic because there isn't any iron in your blood, but there's no iron in your blood because there's so much iron in your cells. If you are taking iron pills to address your anemia and you have chronic inflammation conditions, you need to reconsider.